There are those political influences in our state that want you to believe that the fight for civil rights and voters' rights is a one-party fight, a battle for one race. This past Monday, we celebrated the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King, the greatest champion of justice and civil rights there ever was. But I would like to introduce you to another civil rights champion you've probably never even heard of. She is what I call a sister of the struggle. Those that know courage know her name. Those that know sacrifice know the name Viola Lusso. Viola was a civil rights activist from Michigan who was murdered by Klansmen after she drove fellow marchers home after participating in the 1965 Selma to Montgomery marches. The Selma marches marked the political and emotional peak of the civil rights movement. They grew out of the voting rights movement in Selma, Alabama. When asked by her husband why she was participating in the Selma marches, Viola replied, the struggle is everyone's fight. On Viola's headstone, which was provided by the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, it reads, in memory of our sister Viola Lusso, who gave her life in the struggle for the right to vote. Governor Nikki Haley and her political allies wish to diminish Viola's sacrifice. They wish to undo everything that Viola and others have gave their life in defense of. South Carolina Voters Association is urging all registered voters who are not planning to be delegates to the 2012 Democratic National Convention to vote in the upcoming GOP primary. The South Carolina GOP primary is funded with South Carolina tax dollars, which means it is open to all citizens, regardless of party or ideology. You have the right to vote for President Barack Obama this November, but you also have the right to vote for who will run against him. I'm Michael Bailey, and the South Carolina Voters Association approves this message.